I want to start by showing you this and asking you a question. Mm -hmm. How would you like your name to be on a diploma that says Liberty University? And you have your name here. Uh, and get this and put it on your wall. Now, that is a very powerful question I just asked. Mm -hmm. Listen, you precious saints need to understand what's going on today in the world. Churches today are losing their property. Mm -hmm. They're losing their property in South America, in Russia. I, I've just come back from Africa. Some of you pastors need to know what's going on. You told me about one pastor, I think, in, in South America. In Ecuador. Ecuador. Mm -hmm. 258 eight churches, mm -hmm. and he's really being, what now, they're going to shut him down or something, Well, right? he's, got, he's got a, a probation time. He's got to have these 258 pastors uh, trained with a diploma for them to have the right credentials to get their license to stay in business. And Dr. Ron, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm hearing it all the, all the time. I heard it in Africa from a pastor in, from Namibia. I've, I heard it in South Africa. I heard it in the UK. I'm hearing it's going on in Russia. Mm -hmm. And you said so today. Yes, I've, I've heard about it in Russia particularly. And you know, it means that a pastor of a church who maybe has uh, put his life into this, uh, not only are, is his ability to serve his church as the pastor, mm. but the property of the church can be confiscated, taken away oh by the Lord. government. Yeah. And uh, so this has a, a possibility of wiping out a, a pastor's uh, career, but also wiping out a literal church. All because they don't have credentials. That's correct. Mm. Listen to me. If you're in ministry, you need to have credentials. I think it could even happen in America someday. Mm -hmm. Where they will... Yes. Who knows what's going to happen here? Well, you, you, have, you have zoning laws right now all across everywhere, all around the world. You can't just pack a bunch of people in a building. You can't do certain things. You can't, well, this is just one more thing you can't do. You can't just go open up a church because God put the call on your life. You're going to have to have some kind of credentials to show that, yes, you are a trained pastor, you have some kind of Bible training that you can get your, your license to operate. Jerry and I worked together for now, this a, is Jerry Falwell, Falwell Senior, senior yeah. at Liberty University for a number of years. I've been very familiar with Liberty's progress and you know they have a huge, huge influence around the world and they educate a lot of people. Uh, like something like 120, what is it, how many students so far, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ron? About 100,000 will study with us this year, this mm -hmm. actual academic year. Yeah. They have over 30,000 people come to Lynchburg in May for graduation. You told us this morning about Liberty that, uh, what was it, 40 percent are Baptists and a whole lot of them are different denominations. I did say that. Because uh, people think, you know, it's all Baptists. Many all people Baptists. have sort of a time gap and they remember that somewhere back there there was a, uh, a Lynchburg Baptist College and what have you, and there was, but uh, time has passed. We've grown past the college level. We're now a university. It's Liberty University, and we're no longer Baptists. We're non-denominational. In fact, only about 40 percent of our students are Baptists, and only about 20 percent of our students are majoring in religion of any kind. We have a school of law. We have a school of engineering. We That's have a school of education. This fall, we'll open our brand new school of medicine. So you're the largest Christian university mm -hmm. right now. In the world. In the world. And so the Institute of Biblical Studies uh, is all about teaching the Bible. Mm -hmm. It's uh, in fact all about teaching both the Old Testament and the New Testament and doing it in a, in a fashion that's both uh, convenient and uh, can be done in, with a minimum of time. And uh, so the Institute of Biblical Studies and the two survey courses it represents uh, was very dear to Dr. Paul's heart. This is a 20 half hour course that you can easily do online or by watching DVDs. Yeah, uh, let me explain that. Please mm -hmm. introduce that program okay, because I think good. it's fantastic. <clears throat> well, the Institute of Biblical Studies is, it comes to you in a, in a kind of like a com computer software box. It contains the syllabus you need for your for your lessons. And this um, is Old and New Testament. Old Testament and New Testament, one each. There's 10 half hour lessons. So a student would listen to or watch the, the television or their computer or their iPad or their iPhone 
and they would take the lessons. Now think about this. Yeah. You can do this on your iPhone or iPad. Yes, any place, anytime, anywhere. So it could be through the internet, or I also supply a, a, a kit that has DVDs in it for their television. It has a disc in there to load into the computer if they want to download everything. They can print off anything they want to print off. Or you can give them uh, a Scantron an form. I'll include that in there. Right. They can mark their answers on the Scantron. Uh, and then there's 20 half-hour lessons. There's, uh, there are video presentations. You don't have to go to the library and get a bunch of books. I give you a textbook, a very beautiful textbook that comes with it. It's, it's written by uh, Dr. Ed Heinsen, who is the professor for this course and by Dr. Towns, who is the uh, past, just retired uh, dean of the School of Religion at Liberty University. And what's in this book here? In that book is the Old Testament and New this Testament survey yeah. in illustration form, because there's pictures, there's diagrams, there's, you know, the Bible is about real people, and Dr. Heinzen always says, real people, real places, at a real time. Now, explain the connection between the university and the institute. Well, Dr. the institute Ron. is Dan Reber's uh, organization, mm -hmm. but the content that is produced and published by that institute is recognized by Liberty University mm -hmm. because Beautiful. it is of the highest quality. We've had our deans and our, our content experts evaluate it and assess it. And we find that uh, while it's, uh, it's, it's offered by the Institute and not Liberty University, it is of such high quality, we've decided we'll accept it and give you three credit hours for each of the surveys uh, mm -hmm. if you transfer that credit into So someone our watching, they, they, they will take the, you know, the studies from the mm -hmm. Institute and then they, they want to come to, to Liberty or do it online, and you'll, you'll give them That's credits. That's right, and we'll give them three credit hours for each of those courses. Okay, now people may want to ask, and they probably are asking, uh, is the institute like a branch of the university or totally separate? Well, it's a separate entity, but it is recognized and endorsed by Liberty University. That clears it. The wonderful thing about this is that you study the Bible, and believers all over the world want to do that. But in this case, you study it this way, and not only do you learn a great deal about the Bible in a short amount of time, very conveniently, but you get official recognition for having studied the Bible. And you can use that. And that's what's important. I think yeah. official that's official recognition. It's a shield of protection. And you're yeah. listening to, to these two gentlemen the Senior Vice President of Liberty, mm -hmm. Dr. Ron Godwin, Dan Reber, who is the head of the Institute. And what, we, what we're really wanting to see happen is for many of you to take this course, to, to really qualify to receive a diploma, and then, and then, I will ordain you. We have a fellowship that now we've started called World Healing Fellowship. And you'll be a part of that. We'll give you a license and ordain you. And so here on both sides, you have the credentials coming from the Institute. Mm -hmm. You have the license and ordination coming from our ministry. And who knows? You know, God can use it to protect your future. I mean, mm -hmm. who knows what's going to happen? Pastor, you, you, are, you are busy. Everybody doesn't need one more thing to do. But this is a half hour a day for 20 days. And you listen to the video. You can listen to it while you get ready in the morning. You can listen to it on your break. I got it in clips so you can take, you know, three parts if you want to for one lesson. And after the lesson, I give you a short review. And after the review, you take your quiz. It's really easy. I mean, it absolutely is very easy. You have true false. It is fill in the blank. It's matching. I want everyone to finish the course and get their diploma. We are busy. A half hour a day is... You've got a half hour a day. Anybody has a half hour a day to, to listen to a video and study along in a, in a, in a Bible and in a, in a book that I furnished to you. It's not hard at all. And this is for pastors. This is for people in ministry, full-time mm -hmm. and part-time, and for you that want to be in ministry. Yes. This, hear me out. If, if you believe God has, has called you, you need this. You need your name on a diploma like this from... 
liberty. I mean, think what God can do with this. You said a little while ago in the past, a lot of pastors got into ministry because they felt the call of God in, on, their, on their life and they joined the ministry. That's still happening today. And people are, feel the call of God on their life and, and they want to go in ministry. This is a vehicle. They don't have to spend four years somewhere. They can get this through this in 20 half hour lessons and then do what God's told them to do in their life. And, and I'm not, I can't ordain, but I can educate. This is what you I can commend. ordain. Yeah, I'll ordain now, them. Someone said the other day, you mean you're going to do a pastor, you're going to do a partnership with Pastor Benny? And I says, to reach this world for Christ, absolutely yes. You got it. Yeah, and I mean We're, uh, we're going to do it for the Lord together. Yes. For Jesus, for the gospel together. To enroll in the Liberty University Institute of Biblical Studies Bible Survey course or to request a brochure for more information, please click on the link below.